The Apex Predator has arrived. The following contest is a tag team extreme rules match. Introducing first from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 275 pounds, the hardcore champion, the Viper. As our good friend JBL often says, if you were to build a superstar from the ground up, it would look like Randy Orton. One of the most vindictive, one of the most vengeful, and one of the most dangerous superstars you will ever see. That's why I love everything about this guy, Saxton. Hey, Randy Orton's methodical pursuit of self-serving goals is synonymous with his personality. A superstar who always gets what he wants. My sources tell me that Randy Orton wants you to go home, Saxton. Well, Randy's ready to consume more prey here tonight. You might want to take Corey's advice, Saxman. Ladies and gentlemen, the tribal chief is here. Hey. Representing the from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions and the WWE Champion, Roman Reigns. I've been at this table for decades and I've never seen a competitor this dominant. Month in, month out, Reigns continues to dominate. Yeah, but think about this, Corey. The man who finally puts a loss in Roman's record will become immortal. It's bold of you to think he'll even lose. Well, even with the competition at this level, you might be right. Reigns has all the power in WWE in the palm of his hand. Yeah, and Michael Roman Reigns has no plans to relinquish said power. If you want it, come take it. Nobody has done it yet. destructive superstars we've ever seen. Now united and fighting as one, nobody is safe. Hey, and a combined weight of 632 pounds, the SmackDown Tag Team Champions and the WWE Tag Team Champions, The Undertaker and Kane. The Brothers of Destruction. Like any brothers, these two have had their share of clashes. What, what, clashes? You call them clashes? These two tried to burn each other alive, Corey. They fought each other in the most hellacious matches we've ever seen. Yeah, you know, just brother stuff. Saxon's not wrong. When they're at odds, they wreak total havoc. Huh. And when they're together, it's even worse. Luckily, we've got medical on speed dial for this one. And what are the odds that we see a little teleportation or some kind of dark magic? I can see it in the forecast for this match. Well, I'd say there's a 100% chance of Hellfire when Kane and The Undertaker are around.
I don't know about you guys, but I can't think of a tag team as feared as the Brothers of Destruction. Hell hath no fury like The Undertaker and Kane. Well, I, for one, certainly wouldn't want to be standing across from them right now. While sporadic at times, Taker and Kane have been one of the most destructive duos to ever walk in the WWE. Great rivals and even better teammates. I don't know how you can prepare to face the Brothers of Destruction. And if you've never seen an elimination tag team tornado match, here's some advice. Don't blink. And now unloading rights on his opponent. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Whipped over in a snap suplex. Paint a picture for me, Corey. Hypothetically, what are some tactics you'd use to win a no DQ match? Well, I'd stash some kendo sticks beforehand. Maybe have a buddy waiting to give me a much needed hand. Maybe throw Saxton like a fastball special. That's the beauty of a no disqualification match. You can do all that and not get dinged. The sky is the limit. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it. And come on now. Distasteful offense we've just witnessed. Oh, stop right to the hand. The proverbial mud hole has been stopped, and now it's time to walk it dry. Right to the face. My God. Intercepts that attack with a knee right to the stomach. Held in a perilous position. Oh, put down, face first. He's looking for an implement of destruction under the ring. And he's gone with the ladder, which is a risky choice no matter how you use it. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Backbreaker. Oh! Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? And he's got the hardwood in hand, and you have to imagine a sinister plan for what comes next. Oh, man, inverted backbreaker. Ow! Undertaker. He's going for the Dragon Sleeper. Roman Reigns could be a... And breaks the hole, but damage has been done to get the advantage here. He went right into that turnbuckle. Uncorked a big punch. Reigns unleashes the Superman punch. Oh, come on, ref. Get some control. Shut up, Byron. Counters the Viper's attack. Oh, the shoulder takes a pounding there. And look, now Orton is busted open. from the Viper. Out of the ring, what's his plan here? Coming back into the ring, back to the action. And he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. Oh no, come on, don't use a sledgehammer. Think of the children. I don't think Kane expected that kind of destruction to come his way. Yeah, as Roman Kane ready to assert his dominance and is doing just that. Still a quick kick out at this point. Boy, you hit that hammer like this was a track and field event. Hoist it up. Back suplex. Just an incredible amount of lower body strength displayed there. And the forearm smash. Slips out of the way. Nice side headlock applied. Oh, for a good Watch. measure. Kane gets out of the way. I can already feel the stick of the Kendo stick, and I do not care for it. Gordon with a Fez press. Here come the bombs. Just never had a chance to block any of those. He climbs into the ring. Victory. Here are your winners. The team of Randy Orton and Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns and company with the win.
Taker and Kane are not going to take this loss lightly. You may have won the battle, but they are set on...